everyone! Again, your scientist is here, Nicole Wayne Unson, and you are watching I Can Science You! Episode 10, entitled Experimentry, Make That Yeast, Make It Catalyst! On today's experiment, we need yeast, hydrogen peroxide, small bowl, and popsicle stick. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into it! The first step is to add 20 ml of hydrogen peroxide to the small bowl. Then add a small amount of yeast to the hydrogen peroxide in the bowl and stir gently using popsicle stick. Place the bowl on the table and see what happens. Wow! Look at those bubbles! Finally, hold the bowl to see if there seems to be any change in temperature. When the yeast is not yet added, we can see that there is no observing bubbling. However, the moment we add a little amount of yeast in the hydrogen peroxide, there's a bubbling reaction which causes foam to move up the bowl. Also, change in temperature do occur because when we hold the bowl, we felt a little warmer than before. But what's the science explanation behind this? Let's discuss first the chemical kinetics. Chemical kinetics is the area of chemistry that is concerned with understanding the chemical reaction rate. Reaction rate is the change in the concentration of reactant or product with time. And we have factors that affect reaction rate. What do you think among these four can explain our science experiment for today? Yes, you are correct! The presence of catalyst. Catalyst is a substance that increases the rate of a reaction by lowering the activation energy. Going back to our experiment, the hydrogen peroxide decomposition can be speeded up tremendously by adding yeast on it. Yeast contains a catalyst which catalyzes the composition of the hydrogen peroxide. So yes, the catalyst in the experiment is the substance yeast. Furthermore, we have this chemical equation, hydrogen peroxide or H2O2 as our reactant and when we add our catalyst which is the yeast, then it will increase the rate of the breakdown or decomposition of hydrogen peroxide and by that, it produces water H2O and oxygen O2. Take note that the catalyst or yeast does not become part of the products of the reaction. On the other hand, the bowl should feel a little warmer because the decomposition of the hydrogen peroxide releases energy. Hope you enjoy and learn a lot. See you in the other episode of I Can Science You. Bye!